This video is sponsored by Fox 3 Managed Solutions. Use the coupon code above to get 10% off your subscription. All right, welcome back. Mission 11, The Sock, uh, Weasels Over Syria. This is going to be for new players, players that are new to DCS campaigns. I'll be walking you through uh, step by step all the things that I do, at least the best that I can. If I forget to explain something, let me know uh, in the comment section below and I'll get you an answer. Let's get started. Mission 11, The Sock. All right, let's call the tower. So, backslash F10. You can turn Immortal on by hitting F1 or hit F2 to request engine start. Hotel 4 ground, sword 2 1 requesting startup. Sword 2 1 cleared for engine start. All right, start 2. And no, I don't follow proper procedures. We're not going through bit checks and all that. I'm just going to get this thing up and running as quickly Sir, two, one, starting up. as possible. Uh, park and brake. All right, let's do this. Twenty percent. Good start, engine on. Set VHF radio for sword flight. Press space bar when ready. So COM 2, 7, we know 7 is default for sword flight this whole campaign, so press space bar. Sword 2, 2, sword 2, 1, radio check. Flat and clear lead, 2 is good to go. Happy bug. Follow me up and join on me during departure. Sword 2 2. Alright. Continue to start off, uh, start takeoff when ready. Note you will not be able to taxi until the rest of the sword flight is airborne. Yeah, obviously. We've got a security forces in the way here. Real life, we would never start up with a, <laughs> with a Humvee in front of us. Uh, me as the crew chief, I'd be up there yelling at him to get the heck out of the way. Get out the flight line. All right, uh, we're just waiting for this. Let's go to list, select, recall, dauber right, select, and uh, I forgot to turn that on. Let's get that on. There we go. Align our hammocks. All right, that looks good. Good. It's ready. And we can see GPS time on our GC, GPS system on time. We're just waiting for sword flight to take off and for security forces to get the heck off the flight line. <laughs> Alright, so this mission seems kind of like uh, a little bit of a influence from Top Gun. We're hitting a ventilation shaft of an underground <laughs> target. They got two shafts and we just need to hit one. According to the briefing we want to drop both bombs on that one shaft. So, hey, we're ready. Alright, so let's go to Comp 2 1 for ground. And if you need to, we can push right shift K and use the left and right brackets to find the knee boards for the mission. So we'll pin that one and we'll pin this one. All right, so we've got ground on one, tower on two, as always. And press back, uh, backslash F10 and request taxi. Hotel four ground, sort to one, requesting taxi clearance. Sword 2-1, you are cleared for attack. Right, turn parking brake off. Noticeable steering on. Sword 2-1. And we'll taxi out. There 
There we go. I had to recenter my track IR here. We're gonna get a little close here, not too close. That's fine. We're gonna go to COM22 for a tower and backslash F10 request takeoff. Hotel 4 Tower, sort to one requesting takeoff. Sir 21, you are cleared for takeoff on runway 28, wind 210, for one knot, altimeter 2987. Sir 21. Alright, I don't know if I explained it. Uh, hold DMS down for longer than a second to turn your Hemix on and off. Down, down, like that. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go into burner for this one. Sir 21, rolling. We are really heavy, so we're gonna need a little, little help here. Ooh, heavy. Sir up. one airborne. Add a burner. Taking off right into the sun. Very hard to see uh, the hood. Let's zoom in. Make sure we're at two eight zero. Keep that heading. Climb up a little bit further here. And we'll level out. And I'm gonna turn on autopilot. Altitude hold. Keep it at 280 and we're gonna go to COM23 and contact departure. Backslash F10. Well, we're not quite five miles out. There we are. F10, contact departure. Hotel four departure, sir two one departing from runway two eight. All right, we're gonna turn the altitude hold off. Two one, turn heading two six zero. Two six zero. Twenty thousand. Two climb flight level two zero zero. Sort two one. And we can see the diamond there. That's waypoint one. So this is perfect. I can just put on uh, attitude hold and steering select, and the autopilot's gonna keep me at uh, two six zero. This is great. We're gonna keep ourselves in full mill. Military power, which is as far forward on the throttle as you can get without going into burner. Now we're just going to make our way to waypoint one. Keep yourselves on 260. You will lose points if you don't keep your heading correct. And that goes for all the missions in the campaign. Twenty-nine radars out there. I don't see them, but they're there. Hmm. Just keep climbing up to Angels Twenty. Let's create a PDLT on two, so we're gonna go DMS down until we get a white box around the HSD. We're gonna use the RDR cursor switch to move the cursor and TMS up to create that PDLT on two. And now I can see him with my uh, Hemix. Once it updates from AWACS, so we'll get a little octagon over him. There it is. So. That way we can find two wherever we're at during the mission. Keep climbing. 
waiting for that handoff from departure for them to let us off let us loose Starting to lose some speed here. Getting down to contract speed, 350. Just drop the nose. All right, got our hand off. So we're gonna switch COM2 to uh, seven. Preset seven, so we're back on sword flight. Proceed to waypoint one, gotcha. So I'm dropping that nose so I can gain some more speed. See, we're already speeding up again. I don't wanna lose too much speed here. Almost at a uh, waypoint one. Looks like swords out there waiting for us. The rest of sword flight. Six miles out. contact with the rest of the sword flight. Let's press space bar when ready, so I'm gonna press space bar. So I'm already one, on sword two approaching the three. Copy sword two, all swords push waypoint two. Alright, waypoint two, I'm gonna hit this up arrow right here. Copy. Let's switch us to waypoint two. You can see the white sword dot two. down here is solid now. Follow sword one on your flight plan. So we're gonna look at the flight plan, uh, bring up the uh, knee board and then right bracket and you'll see the flight plan here. So 25,000 feet is where we want to be. So we're gonna keep our climb uh, and we're gonna be at 25K at waypoint two. This is where we should be in fuel if we're to follow. So uh, flankers are motoring back there again where we usually cross the border. Yeah, I saw that. They did an idea. Let's hope not it would be nice to give the Syrians a surprise for a change. Copy that, boss. Yeah, Surf definitely. Flight. Switch Sentinel on uniform. Sentinel, all right. Right shift K. And Sentinel is six. All right. So, COM one, six, enter. Four, three, set. Press space bar when ready. Start two, set. Sentinel, serve one, one. Surf flight airborne and proceeding on mission one, eight, eight, one. Any words? Negative on bird, so walk, proceed with flag. Nice. Captain Sentinel, Sword 1 out. Okay, Sword Flight, continue and switch uniform for vacuum. Alright, UHF to vacuum. So, right shift K, a vacuum is 7. So, COM 1, 7, enter. 4 3 set. Space bar. Sword 2 set. Vacuum, Sword 1. Request low down Damascus. Copy, Sword 1, down by. Lay down the masters. Now let's just press the message every time, but confirm SA2, SA3, SA6, SA8, SA10, SA11, and SA15 in pre brief location. <laughs> Fox wing, full rack, and flat face, UW radars are active around the masters. Alright. Copy all vacuum, so one out. Seems quiet. Too quiet. A new conversation is available. So, backslash F10, Hezbollah. So the intel reports keep bringing up Hezbollah at the moment. Yeah, it sounds like they're busy getting involved. We've got mobilization into the Bekaa Valley and activity along the border between Syria and Lebanon. Not to mention, drones of Raham Jordan and Yabrud carrying out ISR. Who would have thought that Hezbollah was running a drone program? Well, boys, remember your intel brief. Hezbollah may get labeled as terrorists, but they're far more sophisticated than the name suggests. They're often referred to as a state within a state. They've got a large paramilitary force, more powerful than the Lebanese army, in fact. 
as well as a significant presence in Lebanese politics. Well, they've been well funded over the years. That they have, very well funded by both the Iran of old and Syria. And all for the cause of fighting Israel. Well, it's probably more nuanced than just that, Rotor, but we we'll take your point. The current behavior of Hezbollah concerns me, though. If they get fully involved in the civil war, it could have a major impact. Agreed. We're looking at potentially tens of thousands of additional fighters entering the battle. And Hezbollah have a lot of firepower stashed away in Lebanon. You're right about all of that, Tank, but the bigger picture here is Israel. How so, boss? Well, the Israelis might not be so keen on the idea of Hezbollah roaming around the Syrian south, free to push further south than the Unifil line. And free to attack Israel from a new flank. Exactly. And it's not like Israel to sit idly by and let that happen. And Israel has a hell of a military. But Hezbollah sure knows how to make things difficult for them. That's right. Fought them to stalemate in the 06 war. I was surprised we used Israeli airspace to launch that attack this morning. I would have thought that there would be a risk of escalation there. Yeah, it surprised a lot of people, that one. I guess the benefits outweighed the risk. Do you think there'll be consequences for Israel? Maybe, but it's not like they're not already in the crosshairs, is it? I'm not sure the Syrians can afford to bring the Israelis into the fight right now anyway. They're already stretched thin. Unless Hezbollah reinforces them. Or the Russians. Let's not forget about them. Now there's a thought. Russia and Israel fighting it out. As if there wasn't enough of a mess down here already. Well then, let's hope it doesn't go down that way. Alright. I'm curious what's going on up here. Uh, sword. It's an F-16, so... Wasn't showing up on the HSD, I was just curious what was going on. <laughs> Alright, so... Coming up on Angels 25, which is where we're supposed to be. But I am heavy. So... Yeah. <laughs> it's taken me a while to get there. Let's get up to Angels 25, and then we're going to altitude hold it. And while we're here, might as well set up our bombs. We know we're going to be hitting one target with both bombs. So, in my experience, what I have found is if you drop these as a pair, <clears throat> at least for me, not every time, but sometimes... They'll drop exactly the exact same millisecond as each other, and at some point during the flight, they'll bump into each other and explode midair and not hit the target. So what I like to do uh, that has given me pretty good success is set this to single, but I ripple them to, you know, both of them, and I give them a half a second. So 500 milliseconds is a half a second in between each. And then we do want, according to the briefing, we want this set to tail, a tail fuse. So we should be set now. That's good. All right, coming up on waypoint four, or sorry, waypoint three, we're gonna move to waypoint four, and I passed through Angels 25, because I was talking. We're gonna level out here. Good enough for government work. Let's move on to waypoint four. There we go. There it is out there, that diamond. All right, let's. Let's bring her down. Back down to 25. Go a little faster here. If 
50 feet. Twenty feet. Twenty five thousand feet altitude hold. Steering select. We'll just stay right here. Two's looking good. So we're supposed to hit this ventilation shaft and uh, it said not to bother bombing both, just bomb one, but hit it with both bombs. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. Swords, push point is ahead. Fence in and be ready to push. Alright, fence in. So we're going to turn our lights off first. And then uh, that looks fine. Let's turn the ECM to operate and CMS aft. Got to make sure you're in semi uh, to make that work in. Uh, Flight waypoint four. We're ahead of schedule. Hold until our push time. Master arm on, looks good. All right, orbit waypoint four. So we're just gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just hands off the throttle and stick. I'm gonna let the computer fly me. <coughs> so we're gonna come around here real slow like. Looks good, all right. So another thing, um, according to the briefing, we are allowed to decide whether or not we want to hit this thing from above, uh, from high above, or if we want to go down low and do a pop-up. Um, so we're going to just wait and see. Um, apparently we've got drones, MQ-1 predators out there, um, according to the briefing, that are jamming the radars for us. So depending on how well that's going, might determine how I do this. If it's not going well, I'm probably going to go down low and use terrain to mask me. Uh, but if the drones are doing a good job, I might just stick stick at uh, Angels 25 and drop it from way up high. Uh, I want to stay as far away from the radars as possible. I know we can see here we're going right into it. Um, but with the jamming, you still want to keep as far away as you can because uh, the closer you are the more burn in you're gonna get and uh, or burn through I mean a radar is gonna see you so I'm gonna try and stay with the path the flight path here hopefully that'll keep us from getting shot down I don't know we'll see we'll see how this goes Yeah, they're doing a tight orbit. I'm coming way out here. But I want to make sure Sword has plenty of room to go in ahead of me and wipe out the SAMs, or as many as they can, uh, before I go in uh, with uh, with Bug. I don't want I don't want to get shut down. I'm going to set up my air to ground. So we got air to ground. Set this to targeting pod. So to do that, we just click on the one we want until we get the menu. Then select the page you want. So over here, we're going to switch this to the HAD. I know I don't have any harms, but it's good to have up, especially in cases like this where if I need to, I can select uh, DMS down and then RDR cursor over one of the radars, TMS up to lock it. Push to targets. Commence your missions. And then my, pushing. then my TGP will slew to it and I can Force see it. Pushing. Target it. That kind of thing. So, Alright. Pushing away point. 
five, so... Push into Syria and proceed with your mission. The mission can be aborted at any time using the F-10 menu. So I'm going to turn a little tighter here, get ourselves lined up with waypoint four. Because I'm a little offset from five. the waypoint instead. Alright, cool. Multiple emitters online. Looks like they got their attention. Both trumbles are online. Sword 1 is engaging. Drop down to 30 miles so I can see a little better more detail of what's happening and then let's go let's go to steer point five again I'm not flying right now I'm just letting the computer fly me the nav computer is gonna navigate coming a little too far to the right so I'm gonna go back to waypoint four which is gonna make me turn left get a little closer to the line here and then I'll correct back to steer point five and she'll move I know that's stupid but <laughs> that's how I do it <laughs> All right, now we're a little left, but it's fine. Doesn't need to be perfect. All right. Sword one, Magnum, S810. Ooh, things are heating up. Magnum, SE-10. 20 miles out, steer point five. Sword fired another Magnum. Get those arms out there. Looking for radars. So we know from the briefing that our target is uh, eight, so this is five. Six, seven, eight. So there's the target right there. So once we get to seven, we're going to go in. But um, before we get to seven, I'm going to switch the autopilot to attitude hold so I can look at the target area with the TGP and pick out the ventilation shaft. First thermal has gone dark. All right. I mean, it's gone. The Damascus Second mass. Gumball is still active. Ugh. Copy right. lead. SA-2 and SA-3 off our nose, about 20 miles. SA-11 is north of us. Yep. Copy. Sword 3 one engaging. There, there you go. Yeah, you can see him. Got him locked up here. Going after the three. Magnum, SA-10. 
Nope. We got a six. We got my ECM running. Looks like that's this one right here. Four meters have shut off. Fourth, ghost is standing by with our last two harms. Okay. New attack options are now available in the F10 miles, menu. Jamming seems to be working. Let's go backslash F10. Oh, look at all that. All right, I'm gonna have him take out the SA6. We just lost Trojan two. Stay sharp. I'm gonna have to take out the SA6 at Marge Royal. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but. Let's go for that one, because that, we're going to have to fly through that. And I'm going to turn a little tighter. Is a seven. Six is down at the air base, that's good. I turn in on seven, get ourselves pointed in that direction. And altitude hold. Counter. Oh man. There it is. Two, approaching IP. Proceed with your attack. I'll be right behind you. Oh, okay, Copy so these lead. are the attacking. ventilation shafts. That's what we want right there. All right, extend three miles past the IP, then turn in and attack the target. All right. I'll turn the autopilot off. I'm going to start my turn now, because I really don't want to get too close to that 11 and get some burn through. And I don't like being underneath the 6. By the time I complete this turn, I'll be at the angle I think they want. Ah, the 11's looking at us. That's close enough. I'm going to keep turning. Pressing and holding the weapon release. Laser on. There they go. Cat one. Both bombs are gone. Let's start a left turn here. I'll give it a second here. At about 30 second drop uh, time, or time to impact, is when I'll start lasing. I know I could have set up auto lays, but I don't like auto lays. I like having all the control. All right, pulling the trigger, and I'm lasing the target Check right now. Arm. Check laser. Pickle. All right, two dropped his. So mine's gonna hit first. Twelve seconds to impact. Let's start a right hand orbit. Keep that laser going. There it is. All right. Sword two one. 
Target destroyed. Nice. See if two gets his. Smoke's gonna be in the way. Door two two, direct hit. Nice. I see the flames. Nice. All right. Copy, sir. Two now. Get clear. All right. Waypoint nine. Door two two. Climb back up to Angels twenty five. We do not want these radars to, <laughs> to get through that jamming and get us. So I'm gonna get back on the flight path here. Egress to the target area via waypoint nine. So we're gonna get back over here, get back on track. I know that six is down, so I don't have to worry about the six, but I wanna get out of this three. And I went way past Angels 25. But that's fine. Alright. Altitude hold and steering select. Steer point 9. Start turning that direction. Alright. Well, mission success. So far, now we just gotta get out of here. How am I doing on fuel? 7.9. What is expected? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> doing great on fuel. Alright, out of air to ground. Hit that air to ground button. Back to nav. ECM's still active. Uh, everything's looking good. Coming up on waypoint nine. About uh, 20 miles out. No, that's not right. Is that right? Oh. Did I? Uh, I... There we go. Four miles out. <laughs> TGP was looking at uh, waypoint eight still. All right, and I'm gonna switch to waypoint ten as soon as I hit it. All right, ten. Sort two one waypoint nine. Buck, you up? Copy lead. Sword 2-2 two two is up. Sweet. Lead? All the SAMs just switched off at the same time. Oh. Copy 2. I have a bad feeling about this. Watch for enemy fighters. Switch magic on uniform. Magic. All right. Right shift K. Oh. And uh, magic is two. So, com one, two, enter, space bar. Magic, sort two one, request picture. Left to all magic, one group full, left one eye for four zero, eight five blanking, no be. Copy, Magic. Sort 2 1 out. Press spacebar to contact Popeye. Sort lead, sort 2 1. Go ahead, Forrest. I'm not seeing him. Lead, Magic has a group of bogeys low down and heading northeast, possibly heading out from the vicinity of Tha'ala Air Base. We just saw all of the SAM shut off as well. Copy, Forrest. We saw the same. Syrians might be attempting to cut off your egress route to the east. Recommend you drag them east if you can. We'll turn north from the border, come in behind to back you up. Copy lead, confirm ROE. Weapons tight, engage only if targets are confirmed as Syria. There's still Russians in the area. Yeah, I don't want to start World War III. Bug, uh, 
echelon left, one mile spread. Let's pull the bogeys east if we can. If they get too close, we'll turn in for a possible engagement. Copy. Group of unknown fighters are heading east out of uh, Tala Air Base. Uh, they may be trying. Nails 29. They may be trying to Lead cut off your egress two. route. Nails 29. Looking at either a fulcrum or a flanker here. Copy, sir. Two Delphi. We might be a bogey as bold. One three one for forty three. Angel five flanking north. Five thousand. Attempt to outrun them or drag them and drag them east. All right. So they're really low. So. Let's turn the autopilot off, just ahead of time, just in case. I'm going to turn that laser arm off, too. 1 Bogus now, 10 miles of that hot on you. Alright, setting this to bypass as well. Hot on you, huh? Not seeing anything. Let's get lower. Drop the throttle. Alright, ride God's G down. I got plenty of fuel, so. And we're gonna drag them east. If we can. Angels 5 is where they're at. I don't wanna go down to 5, but I'm gonna come down to about 8. That works. Oh, there they are. PDLT, and I see him. There they are. Now we are not supposed to engage. Uh, unless they're Syrian. So we can try and get a little closer. Got him pretty far east. Go to merge. Merge. Let's take a look. Rally, MiG-29. Syrian marking. Oh, all right. Magic, confirm bogeys as Syrian fulcrums. Declare. Go to one, declare hostile. Two, right. clear to engage. Dropping tanks. All right. Bug. <laughs> Sword two one, box two. We got the first one. Sword two two, box three. That's one. Flash one. Flash two. All right. Nice. That's both fulcrums down. Good work, Bug. Atta boy, Bug. <laughs> Copy lead. Sword right. one. Sword two is splash two. We are RTB. Copy, Forrest. Outstanding work, sword two. Sword one and sword three are RTB. All right. Return to H4. Good deal. Nice. Bug, checking out with Sentinel. Switch on uniform. Spacebar when ready. Oh wait, Sentinel. Uh, right shift K, Sentinel is six. So one, six, enter. Two set. Spacebar. Sentinel sort two is off mission and RTB. Primary target destroyed. We also had a run in with two Syrian fulcrums, both splashed. Copy all, go to get an RDB. Okay, Bug, within 60 miles of H4. Best check in with approach. Alright, right shift K, and approach is 4, so 2, 4, enter. Backslash F10 contact approach. 
Hotel 4 approach, Sword 2 1 inbound. Sword 2 1, proceed to Hotel 4 airspace. Check in at flight level 130. Push to wrap call arrival. 130, sort to one. And uh, arrival was five. Oop. So two five enter. A little bit more right there, and uh, there we go. Backslash F ten. Nope, not quite there yet. Master arm off and uh, turn our lights on. ECM to standby. Let's uh, push up the throttle a little bit here. Backslash F10, contact arrival. Hotel 4 arrival, Sword 2 1 entering Hotel 4 airspace. Sword 2 1, cleared for approach Alpha. Maintain flight level 130. Alpha, all right. Approach Alpha, flight level 130, sort 21. A little lower. <laughs> There we go. All right. Got jumped by a couple MIGs, but good thing I had a wingman take care of the other one while I took care of the mine. Mine didn't really put up much of a fight though, I just tried to take the vertical, which doesn't really work if you're fighting a, a Viper. Coming up on Alpha. Really fast. I'm gonna slow down here. Sword two one, clear to enter pattern. Flight level zero five zero. Pattern zero five zero. Flight level zero five zero. Sword two one. So there's the town. There's there it is. Get to zero five. Five thousand feet. Altitude. Too far. Altitude. Let's go up a little bit. Five thousand feet. Altitude. Altitude. 
And we're just gonna sneak right in between the base and the town here because we are way below 7,500. The minimum altitude allowed altitude. over the town. Altitude. So I'm just gonna skirt in between them and not fly over them. Start two one, exit pattern and push the tower. Push the tower, all right. Altitude. So Start two, 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 enter. Backslash F10, request landing. Hotel 4 Tower, Sword 21, requesting landing. And we can leave the pattern, so I'm going to drop down a little Sword lower. 21, cleared for landing, runway 28. 28, two that's one this one right here. One not. It's the one we took off from. Sword 21. So I'm going to push out a little bit further here, and then I'll turn around. Eh, that should be good. All right. I'm gonna overshoot. <laughs> and drop the gear. And drop the throttle. Put out the boards. There we go. Little high. Man, landing into the sun. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. There we go. Touch down, keep the nose up, keep the boards out. A little bit of rudder work here. And we're holding the stabs up too. And a full break. Board's still out. All right, I'm gonna put the boards in now. And we're gonna turn on nose wheel steering here. 421, clear runway and proceed to spot eight. All right, spot eight. All right. Make a U-turn here. Hey, mission complete. All right. This is great. You may exit when ready. All right, we're gonna do a high-speed taxi down the runway. I love the attention to detail. The drones are gone. Because they're out there. <laughs> that was, that's pretty cool. They've always been there and now they're gone. That's cool. Get to the end of the runway here. Spot eight. I believe, once again, I'm forgetting where the spots are. Spot eight should be in the middle, the one that I took, uh, started up and left out of. All right there. So we're gonna turn in right here. And taxi light on. All right. Two should be landing any minute now. Come on in. 
Man, I can't wait to have ground crew taxiing or uh, marshalling us in. That will be awesome. All right. I hope this was helpful for those of you who are stuck on this mission. I know a few of you were. Hopefully that helps a little bit. If you have questions or if I didn't explain something, please let me know and I will uh, get you an answer. All right. See you guys in the next one.